for this problem, I'm making the assumption that these k's are not in the denominator. Rather, this is like negative 13 fourths fraction times the variable k. And I'm also using the letter x down here instead of the letter k. Over here, I think I've kind of proven that the answer is 635 sixty-ninths because I created this function f of x and when I substitute in that value I get zero. So the question is how did I solve this equation for x and get that answer? Uh, when you have a problem like this you have to make a decision. Should I distribute and remove the parentheses or should I multiply every term by 12 first? And uh, instead of jumping right into the problem, I, I'd uh, take a step back and try to decide which would be easier. And I can see that if I multiply through by 12 first, like for this term, I'll get 28 times this quantity. And when I remove the parentheses, I'll still have fractions. So I'm choosing to remove the parentheses first. So I'll distribute the 7 thirds times each term in here, the 9 fourth times each term in here, and then I will remove the fractions or clear the equation of fractions by multiplying through by the LCD, which happens to be 72. So if I multiply every term by 72, paying close attention to the signs, this is what the equation looks like with the fractions cleared. Now I'll put all the terms with x on the left side of the equal sign, which means I'll add 252 over here, and I'll move the 240, negative 243 over. And when I combine all those four terms containing the variable x, I get 69x. And then these two constant terms are already to the right of the equal sign. I get 635 divided by 69. I don't think anything cancels out. Uh, so that's your answer. And this is kind of the proof that 635 over 69 is the solution to that equation. Assuming that I solve the question that you're asking, hope that helped. Uh, there you go. And if you have any questions, uh, post a comment.